Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you all the physical media I got in February 2024. So let's begin. I know there isn't that much stuff, but I just want to collect some less stuff for this month. I might be deciding to get a break from collecting DVDs because I'm working on some other stuff or behind so yeah so let's begin with this collection update video so at the beginning of the month i went to a charity shop and got two films so the first thing is uh no time to die yeah i'm happy i have this and i have all the daniel craig films in the James Bond thing, all his films, yeah, I was missing this one, so I needed it, haven't watched this yet, but yeah, we'll watch it around sometime, it's one of the longest films, and it's the newest one, and this one comes with a slip cover, which I was looking for, because most of the copies that I looked for didn't have slip covers, so was a good deal for this. I didn't expect this at a charity shop since it's quite new. And it's oh it was only one pound fifty, which is a good deal for this. Was that HMV they were selling it for like six pounds without the slip cover? Wait, I won't put it pull it out. You might know how the discs look like inside, they're just black, so happy to have no time to die in my DVD collection. And I'll get around to watch this sometime, so yeah, a good pickup. And the last thing I got from that charity shop was The Mummy Returned, yeah. I did watch the original Mummy, I thought it was quite good. Felt boring at some parts, but yeah, haven't seen the Mummy Returns yet. I've seen the first one, so yeah. And it includes three hours of action or bonus features or something. And yeah, I'll go around to watching this. I might expect it to be better than the first one, and yeah. This was also, I think, 150, not sure, probably like two pounds or 250, which is a bit overpriced, but it's okay. And yeah, I finally have The Mummy Returns, so yeah, I'll get around to watching this as well. So that's the stuff from the first charity shop. And and the next thing I got was that HMV, something that I needed for my collection, and it was Fast and Furious 9, yeah. I already watched this film, it was an alright film. I would say Fast X is better than this. And yeah, I don't know why people don't like this film, I think it's alright. Maybe a bit too much action, but what do you expect? And yeah, this was only £5 at HMV, which was quite good. Because they dropped the price from like ten or £10 to 5 which is alright, so yeah. So that's Fast and Furious 9, so I did watch this, it was very good. Not that good, but it's alright. So that is Fast and Furious 9, so yeah. And it includes two versions of the film I watched, the original film. Didn't watch the director's cut, but I might watch it at some point. And yeah, so that's Fast and Furious 9, the Fast Saga. And yeah. And the last two stuff I got, yeah. There was about five stuff in this video. Uh, I guess it's not enough, but I was just, I'm just trying to take a break from collecting DVDs because 
I'm sort of running out of space. I will still collect them. It's just I'm running out of space. So the first thing from the charity shop was the Born Ultimatum. Yeah, I just got this because uh, cause both of the D DVDs were in a deal for 50p, which was an insane deal for two DVDs. And yeah, I just put this in my Born collection. I only have Jason Born, and I have this one now. And yeah. I will some point get these, I won't watch them probably because I heard that there's some bad stuff about these films and their crap and yeah. So I probably won't watch this, I'm just putting it in the collection and yeah. And the final thing I got, I was surprised to find there, was Fast and Furious or just Fast and Furious 4. And yeah, I did watch this one, I was bothered to watch it because I like watching the Fast and Furious films. They make me feel less bored and stuff. And yeah, this film's alright. It was a great return to most of the characters after lots of years and yeah. Fast and Furious 4 is quite good. Not as good as the original, the Fast and the Furious, and yeah. So that's Fast and Furious 4. And this this came with this when you can get one of these for 25p, which is such an insane deal. 25p for a DVD. Mostly they want like five pounds for a DVD or ten, but for one, but 25 or 50p or one pound is a good deal for these movies, and yeah. It's Fox and Furious 4, it's a good film. There is some action and racing. The racing is quite at night sometimes, it's not really professionally like raced sometimes and yeah it's not professionally filmed on the roads like they're not driving properly in it so yeah so fast and furious 4 it's a good one and i recommend you watch it so that was all the dvds i got in february 2024 and Sorry for not uploading a Rabbit Bunnies video, it's been like so long, like nearly a year or not a year, like a few months. I need to get on making Rabbit Bunnies the movie episode 2, so I just not bothered sometimes to film stuff and I need to film it on time. And I delayed it for 2025 by the way, so... Yeah, because I'm planning on making it till April 2025. It was going to come out this year, but I sort of didn't film it. I only filmed the first part in 2023. I, f I can't spoil it for you, so you'll wait till it's done. And bye, guys, for now, so... Thank you very much for watching this video and bye.